Okay, let me get into a bunch of news here and then your phone calls because there is so much to cover. Look at this article. Give me a document cam shot on this, guys, for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. The Washington Times, February 22nd. So this came out two days ago. I saw it this morning, and I couldn't believe it. This is the neocon Washington Times. But they do throw some curveballs occasionally. This is the popular Inside the Beltway column. Explosive news is the headline. We have this linked up on our websites if you want to find it. And it is a positive, fair article about the towers being blown up. I mean, I cannot believe this. And that's why you see the attack on 9-11 truth everywhere. Because it's so mainstream. The polls, on average, are over 50%. Some are even higher. You can't ignore these numbers. People are finding out. People are looking at the collapse of Building 7. And that's what this article talks about. The mainstream media can ignore this only so long, and then they are not even relevant if they don't start focusing on it. And their debunking exercises haven't worked. A lingering technical question about September 11th terror attack still haunts some, and it has political implications. How did 200,000 tons of steel disintegrate and drop in 11 seconds? A thousand architects and engineers want to know. Talk about solutions. They're doing such a great job. Architects and engineers find 11 truth. And are calling on Congress to... Order a new investigation into the destruction of the Twin Tower Building 7 at the World Trade Center. I mean, that is incredible. In order to bring down this kind of mass in such a short period of time, the material must have been artificially exploded outward, says Richard Gage, a San Francisco architect and founder of the nonprofit Architects and Engineers Trying to Love and Truth. Mr. Gage, who is a member of the American Institute of Architects, managed to persuade more than 1,000 of his peers to sign a new petition requesting a formal inquiry. The official Federal Emergency Management Agency and National Institutes of Standards and Technology report provide insufficient, contradictory, and fraudulent accounts of the circumstances of the tower's destruction. We are therefore calling for a grand jury investigation of NIST officials. Mr. Gage adds, this is powerful. They're actually reporting like journalists a serious issue and what serious people are saying. And it continues and gets even better. The technical issues surrounding the collapse of the towers has prompted years of debate, rebuttal, and ridicule. He is particularly disturbed by Building 7, a 47-story skyscraper, which was not hit by an aircraft, yet came down in pure free-fall acceleration. He also says more than 100 first responders reported explosives and flashes as the to explosions and flashes as the towers were falling and cited evidence of a multi-ton steel section ejected literally 600 feet at 60 miles an hour and the mid-air pulverization of 900,000 or is it 90,000 tons of concrete and metal decking. There is also evidence of advanced explosive nano thermitic composite material found in the World Trade Center dust, Mr. Gage says. The group's petition at AE911truth.org is already on its way to members of Congress. Government officials will be notified that the misprision of treason, U.S. Code 18, Section 2382, is a serious federal offense which requires those with evidence of treason to act, Mr. Gage says. The implications are enormous and may have profound impact on the forthcoming Khalid Sheikh Mohammed trial. Stay tuned for more in this space. And they cover some other issues. Other stories. I mean, come on. That, I, I, I commend uh, Jennifer Harper. I wonder what's going to happen to her now. I mean, this is powerful stuff here. This is exciting. This is positive. And people ridiculed Gage and others when he had 20 members, then 100, then 500, then peer-reviewed journals, now 1,000, and growing. And they're not going to stop. And we've already won in the court of public opinion. That's why they're saying we're despicable, evil, horrible, un-American people. Look, Bill Clinton, his handlers carried out Oklahoma City. That's been proven. Covered all my film, Road to Tyranny. Michael Savage comes out and says he's sure Obama's going to stage terror attacks, a Reichstag event. Is he bad? This is something governments do. Now, do we know in every case this is what they've done? No. But if they've done it over and over again, and it's declassified that they've admitted they've engaged in many staged terror attacks over the year, over the years, we must Cover it. Oh, and it was unpopular day one, before 9-11, and on day one when I came out,
and said it was an inside job with the evidence, sure. But I'm not here to win in a popularity contest, and today it's very popular. I'm here to tell the truth, let the chips fall where they may, take the risk, because liberty is worth it. My children's future, your children's future is worth it. And that's why we're trailblazing and doing what we're doing. And that's why we've had so much success. And that's why those that want to prop up the system and those that are just jealous of somebody who's number one are coming after us. And I love it because they, you know, no weapon formed against us shall prosper, Christ said. And everything they do against us backfires and only sends us more listeners and gives us a higher level of visibility so that people can come and actually see my films hear the radio show, watch the TV show, find out what we really stand for. Judge a tree by its fruits. And again, I'll say to you out there, don't think you've got to save the world by yourself or overnight. Wake somebody up. Show them a film. Tell them about this radio show. Go speak out against water fluoridation or city council. Go speak out against the amnesty program and how 800-plus cities let illegal aliens be above the law. Talk about the injustice. Talk about Geithner not paying his taxes. You expose this fraud one person at a time. There's no way it's going to stand. No way. So just continue and don't end fight and don't get distracted and don't get diverted and just continue to hammer away because you've got the truth. You know you've got a pure heart. And so it's up to you because you do to be that leader you are. And that's what we're here doing is waking people up to be leaders.